Welcome to Cloud Tech Talks. My name is Pritesh. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the need for collaboration in your business, document management, and going paperless. So let's get started. Before we get into how you can go paperless and how you can manage your documents better and how you can better collaborate, I would like to really stress on why an organization needs this. So it begins with when a specific function or team creates a document and the whole process of sharing, with it, sharing those documents with others begins. So let's, let's look at it in phases. So the first phase I want to talk about is the document creation. Now the document creation has uh, multiple fold challenges. So uh, mul uh, there is a, a lot of versioning that happens when you create a document. You go back and forth with, uh, with different people who want to collaborate and contribute with ideas to a specific uh, document or a project. Uh, then of course there is multiple exchanges of ideas over emails and uh, obviously there is lack of mobility if you're using the, the legacy systems for it uh, and if you're relying on uh, just standalone uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint to make this happen. Now, uh, moving to the next phase is when you require the, the idea or the document or the concept or the project to be approved by a specific stakeholder in the organization. Now, stakeholder uh, approval can also be multiple, right? There may be one person in HR, one person in marketing, finance, etc. Everybody needs to have their say. Now, as a result, if you, if you go to one person and he approves it, but if you go to the second, he doesn't, you need to go back with the same document, create a new version of it and get the whole approval cycle in place again. So that's, that's really the, the phase of um, a stakeholder approval, which takes the most amount of time in comparison to any other stage of document management in general. Uh, obviously, in this whole journey, it's very difficult to keep track of changes. Uh, everything has to be tracked by a specific person, managed as a project and uh, needless to say it consumes a lot of time and uh, there is a lack, lack of mobility in this entire process specifically if most people are traveling and on the go uh, number three uh, uh, the, the the phase number three that i want to talk about is uh, obviously paper in intensive projects so uh, most organizations they still print uh, stuff out before the the final document is actually uh, put in place so they highlight using uh, using a marker and they, they they highlight those clauses on and keep it on the desk of the specific person he makes his comments etc I've seen this happen in many organizations so just speaking out of experience now as a result once that is done you you create a digital copy of it you scan it you sign uh, and then you you print it out for uh, for the final as a final version for approval and then of course the physical uh, copy has to uh, has to be signed again by the appropriate stakeholder and if multiple then obviously they have to be in the office otherwise uh, you have to wait for the person to come back etc so that's that that's the whole pain of having a paper intensive project um, going to the last phase uh, and this i think is the most critical one is is about actually retaining the document and this is where document management comes into picture you know how you can search the uh, how you're able to search the document better, whether or not it is something that uh, you know is readily available to everybody to access on mobile or any other device that they're using if they're traveling, etc. And of course, if it's physical and you have filed it in a file cabinet, there is a, there is a risk of losing it. There is a, there are multiple risks involved in uh, in the in the way you manage access for those documents and stuff like that so uh, obviously it's, if it's not digital it's physical you really may, need to make sure that uh, you know you're following the right processes and and obviously as a result of all of this that i just explained there are um, uh, three main challenges that um, or rather drawbacks of overall this process which will bring uh, you know its its effect on the organization Number one, it will uh, create a, a very low operational efficiency. Number two, it will consume a lot of time. And number three, it will also have a lot of administrative costs associated to this entire process. Obviously, nobody really uh, puts their brains into what the cost is because these are all hidden costs. I mean, you can't, uh, you can't really expect uh, a stakeholder to uh, calculate the amount of time 
it takes to complete one process or one document and then execute it uh, and then uh, expect him to put a dollar value against it. But essentially that's what it is. You are still utilizing the resources of the company, the paper uh, and uh, the number of man hours that everybody is putting in as a result to, uh, you know, to make this entire process work. And that's, that's the most critical component. Now, uh, if, you, if you look at it from, a, uh, from the perspective of how you can overcome this challenge, uh, I mean, there are multiple solutions in the market, but I'd like to mention a, a few notable ones that I know. Uh, as far as document management, enterprise file sync and share, they call it EFSS. If you, if you consider that space, there are, there are uh, multiple players in that market. But the ones that really stand out are the likes of Dropbox business, uh, there is sync.com, there is Google, uh, there is um, uh, obviously OneDrive and uh, Box etc, Simplicity, a lot of those uh, players. Now I would not say one is better than the other or uh, you know, um, you know one does the job much differently than the other, it's never about that, it's about a personal preference, a personal choice and what kind of requirements an organization really has to be able to accomplish the task of document management and uh, and enterprise file sync and share in general in your company. So if you are looking to evaluate something like this, I'm going to link a, a, you know, a video in the description below which I saw uh, which, which was very thoroughly explained as to what kind of solution you should go for and uh, I, I really like that description so I, I'm going to link that video in the description you can you can really uh, take some ideas as to which is the right solution for you so coming to the uh, to the digital transaction management the contract signature the paper signature in general how you can make that go digital uh, I mean it's a no-brainer that a solution like DocuSign for example is is one of the leading solutions in the market everybody knows it there is a clear uh, path that you can set your organization on as far as going paperless and digital transaction management is concerned if you leverage that. So if, if you really want to deploy a combination of uh, digital transaction management along with enterprise file sync and share, the whole journey of a document right from the inception uh, or creation of the document to the time people collaborate to the time people take stakeholder approvals till the time it is actually executed and then from there on retention and managing and access management of all of those documents can be done very seamlessly and I would recommend this in a combination of two products uh, so one product that you need to really consider is the enterprise file sync and share product say Dropbox business for instance and you club that with, uh, with DocuSign for going paperless and digital transaction management uh, it will help uh, organizations collaborate better it will help eliminate versioning it will help uh, people stay mobile and obviously uh, people can work together on multiple uh, things and mul uh, and multiple files and folders and access management granular controls retention uh, all of that becomes very easy for an administrator of the company as well so that's the benefit on a high level from a Dropbox perspective and on the digital transaction management side, the contract side, um, uh, DocuSign as a solution, it takes care of preparation, execution and manageability aspect of the signatures in general. And it has an out of the box integration for instance with, with, some, with all the leading solutions Dropbox included as far as file management is concerned. So you don't need to uh, establish any integrations or spend any time on uh, on uh, creating any uh, uh, sort of uh, integrations with your IT teams etc. Everything is already done. All that you need to do is create your own accounts and get started and start using it. Uh, it's very critical for you to understand that uh, the effect collaboration, the effect digital transaction management and the effect that going paperless can have in your company is really immense. It's, it's multifold and and the most important uh, you know a factor to consider in this decision is that you're going to save time you're going to save administrative costs and you're going to help your employees to do everything faster in a much more productive way and you will realize that with time you may not even need those many people to do this job so it can actually help uh, your organization cut down on a lot of costs 
which uh, which typically uh, you feel is not possible otherwise uh, in managing all of this in a legacy way so this this is what i wanted to talk about today uh, please let me know your comments in uh, in in the comment section below and uh, stay tuned for more i'll talk to you guys in the next one thank you